Good morning friends. In this CSS tutorial series, we are learning very important topics. In this tutorial, we will learn about display properties. In CSS, there are two ways of display, display block and display inline. Say for example, in HTML div tag h1 tag p form header footer section, this is commonly block display. This will display the element as a block and span using a span using image using a tag. The element will display as inline, but we can override it. Let's see. Let's have an HTML boilerplate. Let's have a evil tag li inside li anchor tag a stref sharp. Let's open some. Let's write some navigation menu about. Services contact. So, if we open it in live server, we will say it a block display. Now we can style it using CSS li display inline if we write it in line let's see what happened see it becomes inline display and the bullets are gone now if we want to text decoration none see text decoration has to remove by li a from anchor tag text decoration has been removed now border one pixel solid red border given use some Let's keep it side by side. Margin 5 pixel padding 5 pixel margin padding border radius. Ten pixel. So this is border radius 10 pixel so this is the way we can display a block element uh, as inline element just select the selector and display right display in line thank you for watching in this tutorial i will show and an inline element how to display it as a block element span we are learning css in a fruitful way CSS is very important to the website development. So we should learn CSS.
this is Let us say this is span and usually displays inline all the elements inline but how to display it as a block a span display block now see it is displayed as block so we can overwrite the inline element as block element we can override the block element as inline element by using the display property with the value inline or block so thank you very much for watching this video if you like my video please subscribe my channel and continue watching